Having a multi-tool on hand is like having a toolbox in your pocket. It contains up to 21 basic implements from screwdrivers and scissors to tin openers and pliers. They all fold in and out of the handles, forming a case that's compact enough to be carried in your pocket. Let's hope it doesn't open accidentally. This multi-tool contains 14 different tools, including scissors, a knife, wire cutters, two types of pliers and three different screwdrivers, and of course, much more. Most of these tools, and the handle into which they fold, are made of stainless steel. The strip of stainless steel winds off a reel and moves through a 300 ton punch press. It works like a giant biscuit cutter, striking a series of dies against the passing metal. This is one part of the multi-tool's two-part handle. 17 strikes later, it's fully formed and ready to go through a heat treatment process to strengthen the stainless steel. A polishing robot runs the handle against the grinding wheel with specific program movements which produce a delicate line pattern on the metal surface. Certain tools like knife blades are made of premium steel which is too hard for the press to punch through so they have to be cut out by a computer guided laser. The heat literally melts through the metal. The knife blades go into a polishing machine where they vibrate amongst ceramic stones for several hours. This smooths out the rough cut edges by abrasion. A magnet then removes the blades from the machine. The knife blades, still dull at this point, go onto a motorized table which runs them back and forth under a grinding wheel which finalizes the dimensions. The two jaws which form the plier head are cast in steel. They assemble them with a spring, a pin and a rivet. Then a robot performs a two-stage polish, first against the grinding belt with a rough grid, then against one with a finer grid. The plier head is at last ready to be assembled to the multi-tool's two-part handle. They align the holes of the handle with the holes of the plier head, slipping a spacer in between. They put a pin and screw fastener through the aligned holes to connect the handle to the head. Now back to the knife blade. Until this point, the blade's cutting edge has been dull. Now a robot sharpens it against two grinding wheels. This is what the knife blade looks like before and after. With the handle and all 14 tools formed, heat treated and polished, and with the pliers connected to the handles, final assembly can begin. The remaining tools stack together inside the two handles with a stainless steel ring to fill up the excess space. In assembly, they thread a rod all the way through the holes at the base of the handle and tools to hold the alignment just until they secure the setup with a stainless steel pin and rivet. They repeat this process in the other handle with the remaining tools, except for the knife blade and scissors, which will go in later. They apply a few drops of thread lock to immobilize the pins in each handle. A bronze washer makes the handle housing the knife blade open smoothly to prevent injury. A safety cover is installed on that same handle to shield the knife when it's not in use. Now for the knife blade itself. They rivet the scissors to the other handle and the assembly is finished. This multi-tool with its 14 different implements is ready to be folded up and tucked into a pocket. Now the owner can be confident that he or she will always have the right tool for the job, which is handy.